nice and crispy the eyes color this is awesome i mean this is look at this and you can upscale it again and again and again hello everyone i hope you're doing fine what we are going to do today actually we will we'll see how we can upscale images by using flux workflow flux is a very good model so far which is trained on high quality images so uh, we'll see how we can do that first we'll um, create a flux workflow which is easy and then we'll we'll use upscaler to upscale the images so first let's let's see how we can create flux workflow okay we need uh, a checkpoint loader so unit so there is two uh, different models first is unit sorry gguf which is a small compressed model of flux dev variant uh, because the dev variant is a very large model it's a 21.6 gb model if you have a low vram go with the gguf small version of it and you can still get a pretty good images so second is unit loader which is this loading diffusion models which is this okay can if you have a good ram uh, i mean vram like if you have 40 80 40 90 you can run this i have q4 and q8 both are good you can go for q6 also i will link the website the hugging face link where you can find these models model go for a i mean go for a 7.53 model because it's a hdxl checkpoint kind of a model you know the size is same so get this one so i'm using q4 for now we need a text node so we we are going to use a clip text node uh let's connect the nodes i need modeling sampling flux this is for sampling reasons so i'm going to uh, convert the nodes widgets to inputs i'm going to use a empty sd3 latent image which is the size that we are using I'll convert these also, so we can have a single uh, input. Uh, I did also input. All right. So this is for latent, and this is for model. Okay. okay so we'll use integer literal. Use one thousand twenty-four, and we'll copy this also. So this will be does this. Let's go for sampling custom node. Uh, sampling sampler custom advance. Okay. So you need this. So this is basically a key sampler, but uh, as you can see, is a custom one. You are going to connect the sampler noise, everything uh, by input, rather than it's already into it. So let's use SD3 latent to latent. We're going to use a guider. Which is a dual CFG, you know, basic guider. So this is a flux workflow. This is different from HDXL and HD1, 1.5. So for modeling, we you we are using first model, model, model to model. So this will guide this generation. N for noise, random noise. Okay, randomizing. Uh, we can also use this seed as an input uh i use rg3 yeah so what i like about this seed 
from RG3 is you can randomize each time which uh, usually happen in a normal seed node but you can fix a random one like new fixed random this is the one uh, you can download this from manager custom node manager and you can search for RG3 and here you go you just install this like you will find the button like this here install this and then restart it and you'll be fine okay so rg3 is there let's do sampler key sampler select it's okay everything is there euler dpvm sg blah blah Okay, so we need sigma also basic scheduler yeah basic scheduler is good so this is here so normal cas exponential blah 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 we'll use simple because uh, you can use euler also and dpm2m also we just have to decode and you have to see the image so this is a basic workflow for uh, flux okay nothing major so i forgot the major thing so we are using dual clipper uh, we can use ggf let's use this this is important because it's going to guide your basically uh, the prompt it will look into prompt and it will guide your uh, generation according to that so condition to condition and this will go nowhere we use this without wasting any time the guidance 3.5 we have also a guidance which is flux guidance which is this 3.5 uh, this is the default and use this this uh, you will get good pictures i sometimes lower this and go with zero also sometimes for realism i don't know it works sometimes go from zero you can use one and 3.5 is the default one so yeah just copy this and paste this to get uh, used to it and use va loader so we need to need a va loader this is important too we're using flux so flux va i'll drop the link in the description too for flux va uh, we can go for rg uh, seed everywhere there's also a good note anything everywhere so what this does is it connects the node everywhere it there is an input so VAE, you can see it's a uh, it's connected there. So yeah, okay, Q prompt, and it's working. So as you can see, the hand is messy, and uh, the output is very nice. Okay, the reflections are good. Everything is good. We'll try one more, but we're going to use Euler and uh, guidance to 3.5, the default one. Okay, all right. Let's do this again. All right. So you can see, says flux upscale, but it is very small. But the results are good. All right. One more. Let's do it. One more time. All right, I like this one. But you can see it's a bit um, noisy, right? There's no clear, there's no details. Yeah, it's a good image, but it's it's not clear enough. So what we're going to do is what we 
did for SDXL also. So go for ultimate you can ultimate SD upscale. This is for upscaling. Uh, you can upscale anything with this. This is a good node. It's to image to image. We can use model. Uh, our model is here. Uh, let's to model to model and let's use conditions we have condition positive to positive and we need it needs negative also so let's create a negative to and fade it there All right, uh, VA is connected. You can see that an upscale model, which is which is going to upscale this. The upscale model you can find it on uh, Open uh, Model DB. You, you will find here everything. And I'm using the combined of both. I'm using this, and I'm upscaling by two. Uh, seed is random. We don't need anything big, I guess using 20 steps sampler is Euler and simple the CFG, CFG is same and denoise will do 2.25 we can go with 0.2 but 2.5 I guess it's good with tile width will be 512 you can go for 1024 and 1024 it will be a big tile tile faster let's go for 1024 and 1024 okay so let's see tile decoding yes go preview image Let's do a image compare. Image com compare RG3. Take an RG3 and image P and this image. All right. See what changes. Okay. You can see the details merging. The noise is gone. It's more sharper. The details are there. Right. These are blurry areas. I'm going to use another prompt for this. But you can see. This is much better. And this is only a 2x. You can go for 3, 4. By the way, I'm going to link this workflow in the description. You can download it there. You don't have to go through every single thing here. It's a simple workflow, but still. One more. This is the final. Whatever comes, uh, it renders. We're going to use that to see. With good details obviously uh, you can go for 0 0.35 0 0.4 pi, 0 0.4 and 45 also 0.4 pi. above than that it will change the scene entirely okay so let's 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 go uh, with this all right i've changed the sampler and the denoise level to 0.35 all right so is the comparison the upscale whoa you can see the quality it's, it's thousand times better i mean it's a 2x upscale the steps are 20 not more than that cfg is not higher than one so this is pretty much like look at it look at this right look at this cake or cookie i don't know what is this <laughs> i like it even the background is have good details uh let's do one more okay <laughs> i'll show you the comparison only okay so i just see wow 
as you can see the details are crispy now uh, everything is so clear and detailed the cloths are detailed right texture on the shirt is nice i'll get the quality that you want it's a very significant change if you want to like upscale it again and again for like one more time let's just say control click and control click control c and control shift b and it will come up with the same nodes connected as you can see all of these inputs are connected already you don't have to connect them again uh, you just have to connect the output image from the first ultimate as the scale to this one and you're good to go you just have to click q prompt and it will go again here and do the upscaling i cannot do it right now because it will take a lot of time for me but uh, as you can see you will get the idea if you like the video considering subscribe and like and comment also for better reach and i'll see you in the next one